Okay, let's make this quick. Infamous Second Son is a really good game with just a couple of flaws that hold it back from being great. Taking place seven years after the events of Infamous 2, you play the role of Delson Rowe, a cocky teenage delinquent who gains amazing abilities after a prison truck carrying superhumans known as conduits crashes in his hometown. After evil McBaddy puts growing stones in many of Delson's tribe members, it's up to him and his brother to find the alpha bitch and save their village from a slow death. I'm told that hurts. While the story isn't the strongest, it's well written enough to keep you interested until the end. However, since Infamous is a free roaming game, you're not obligated to follow the main story. Getting to explore the city of Seattle is awesome because not a whole lot of other games take place there. The developers put a lot of time and effort into recreating the city and it certainly comes across. The graphics look like they came out of a late era PS3 game, which is not a bad thing. It's up there along the lines of The Last of Us and Beyond Two Souls in terms of graphical capabilities, however the game doesn't quite scream next generation. It's screwed, man. But the graphics aren't always what's important, we gotta get to the gameplay, and oh man is it awesome! The powers you get throughout the game are a lot of fun to mess around with. Each ability you get feels unique and different. Getting to explore your powers and leveling them up is the main crux of what makes this game such an enjoyable experience, as you really do feel like a superhero. I only wish you were able to swap your abilities on the fly, because if you want to try smoke powers but can't find a smoke source around you to absorb, then you have to run around for a bit to try and find one, and that can be kind of annoying. Throughout the game, you're given a choice of being a hero or a villain. However, the choices only ever boil down to, do you want to be a super nice goody two or a gigantic douchebag asshole. I've had friends come up to me and ask whether or not a lack of multiplayer detracts from the experience, and I say absolutely not. Sucker Punch focused on a single player experience, which I feel was the right move. We don't want this happening again. While the main story is only 15 hours, I kept wanting to keep playing to try and complete all the side missions, which is a real rarity for me. But 15 hours is a little short, and I would bear that in mind before picking it up, especially with so many other PS4 exclusives out there, like... Uh... Overall, this is a great experience and should be played by anybody who's even remotely interested in sandbox games. I give Infamous Second Son 34 doorknobs out of 43 ramen noodle cups. I cannot believe he doesn't have anything better to do.